There are different types of essays, also known as modes of discourse. The big ones are argumentation, expository, literary analysis, and narrative. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the expository essay. Expository means to set forth the meaning of something, to expose something, to explain. So when we explain something, we are setting forth its meaning. What's sometimes a little confusing about expository is that there's not just one type of expository writing. For example, one form of expository is called process. In a process essay or short answer, you're going to explain how to do something or how something works. Such as in science class when your teacher asks you to explain the digestive process in a human being. Another type of expository is known as classification. Here you give the parts or characteristics of something. Your drama teacher might ask you to classify the parts of a Broadway musical. Exemplification is when you give examples to show that you understand a concept. Like in this prompt, where your English teacher wants you to discuss the effects of satire in the novels and dramas you have read by giving examples and then discussing. Cause and effect is a popular form of expository in which you list causes that lead to an effect. Here is one from a health or PE class. Investigate how torn muscles occur in the body. What causes torn muscles? What is the effect? Sometimes your teacher wants you to explain or summarize what you learned in a given class. Summarize what you learned in math class today. Analysis is a type of expository used a great deal in English language arts classes. You read a story, and then you analyze it. In fact, in many states, literary analysis is a mode of discourse all by itself. But analysis is found in all other courses, too, and is an important expository writing type. Description is a form of expository in which you provide specific details, typically using your five senses, as well as imagery and connotation of words. If you were to describe the phenomenon of a hurricane, you would describe the look, the sound, and the feel of that funnel cloud, for example. Comparison and contrast essays are written to discuss the similarities and or differences of two ideas or objects. Here's a social studies example. Compare state sovereignty under the Articles of Confederation and under the Constitution. And let's end with definition. A definition essay or short answer is when you clarify or define or share the qualities of an idea, such as success. What is success? All of these are expository forms of writing. There are more, but these seem to be the most popular ones in school and in jobs. Keep reading and writing.